We've all seen Infinity War, right? Well, if you haven't, then what are you doing clicking on this video? There are spoilers ahead. Is that what you want? Spoilers? Unless you do. In which case, welcome. But if not, then maybe stop watching right now and, as Thor might say, get thee to a cinema. Back? Good. I'm Phil, and today I'm going to be telling you my Avengers 4 theories. God, I love that theme music. So much so that it's been my ringtone for the last five years. That's... that's not a theory. It's just a random piece of personal information. Or maybe it is. Theory 1. I will continue to have the Avengers theme as my ringtone even after Avengers 4. Yep. Pretty sure I got that one in the bag. Theory 2, I guess? Where were Hawkeye and Ant-Man? And why has Nick never called Captain Marvel before? Let's start with the biggest long shot of this list. I'm kind of lumping these two theories together, but the way I have it, they're intrinsically linked. We get a throwaway line in Infinity War about Clint and Scott taking a plea deal and being under house arrest as an explanation as to where they were. But I think there's much more to it than that. The Russos have mentioned that Hawkeye will have a very important role in Avengers 4 after all. We'll see a lot of Scott's house arrest play out in July's Outman and the Wasp. He'll have a fun old adventure, probably saving Hope's mum from the quantum realm, but it's in the post credit scene that we would see my theory come into play. Picture this, Nick Fury arrives at Scott's house, or wherever he's hiding, with Hawkeye in tow. He has a mission for them both. The events seen in Infinity War's opening act, the attack on New York, have just happened. Fury is taking action. That action involves finding Captain Marvel. Maybe he needs the duo to retrieve the Captain Marvel pager from a government facility that he no longer has access to, hence needing Scott. Maybe it's more elaborate and they'll actually time travel to the 90s via the Quantum Realm to get her. And the pager is just a signal to the duo to do that. The post credit scene in Captain Marvel will be her getting this call to action. Either Hawkeye and Ant-Man arriving from the future to bring her forward, or, probably more likely, her being out in deep space and retrieving the signal. I'm still saying Ant-Man and Hawkeye play into it somewhere though. Theory 3. Pepper is dust. Or leaves. Or whatever everyone dissolved into with Thanos got his click on. This one has just too much dramatic character potential for them not to do it, right? Imagine the gut-wrenching look on Tony's face as he makes it back to Earth, only to discover the love of his life, the woman he was about to marry, the woman who so wanted him to give up the superhero life he is no more. Now, imagine that he also finds in their apartment a pregnancy scam. Oh man, the feels. Theory 4, the ultimate sacrifice. Okay, so we've probably all worked out, or had a friend whisper it to you in the cinema, that thing about Doctor Strange looking at all the possible futures. He's totally seen in that one possible future where they win. Tony is the key, and that's why he's given up the stone to save him. Oh man, shut up! Tony's going to be vital to the eventual win against Thanos. And if Theory 3 comes true, he would totally be in a mental position where he would sacrifice himself to save Pepper and his... his unborn child. Oh man, here come the feels again. Theory 5. Nebula will also play a big part. In the comic book that Infinity War is based off, Nebula was pretty instrumental in Thanos' eventual defeat, taking control of the glove herself and undoing a lot of what has been done. It's not going to be coincidence that she's alive at the end of Infinity War. Alive and pissed at the death of her sister. Alive, pissed, and happens to now be alone with the other person who I've just theorised will be instrumental in Thanos' defeat. Theory 6. Another big departure. Avengers 4 is likely to be the end of the road for Cap's hero career as well. Now he might die alongside Tony, that could be very fitting thematically. The two former friends who had a major falling out come back together, all is forgiven, and then they both die. Or, after seeing Tony make the ultimate sacrifice, he simply packs it all in and finally retires. But here's the thing, I can't see Steve sitting out future fights when innocent people are in danger and evil might win. It's just not in his personality. Which means that if Chris Evans doesn't want to do any more films, really, the only way is to kill him off. Theory 7. Venom symbiote? Marvel and Sony have been very inconsistent and often vague about whether Venom takes place in the MCU continuity or not. One minute it is, the next it's not, the next it's adjacent to it. Whatever the hell that means. From Marvel's perspective, I suspect they want to see if there's any good and does well at the box office first. If it does, you might just find it being retroactively included in the MCU by having the symbiote cameo in Avengers 4 in its goo state, in outer space. 
before it comes to Earth. Effectively, then, setting the Venom movie after Avengers 4. Of course, if Venom bombs, you'll see Marvel drop any hint of that connection quicker than my goth-loving high school girlfriend dropped me when she saw my collection of Spice Girls and S Club 7 CDs. Theory 8. Mega Hulk. Back before Thor Ragnarok, it was said by... someone... might have been Ruffalo? Might have been the Russos? Honestly, I can't be bothered to look it up. But someone involved definitely said that Thor Ragnarok, Infinity War and Avengers 4 would form a trilogy of sorts for Hulk's character. Now, he was a big part of Ragnarok. His arc in Infinity War was essentially that he refused to surface, seemingly running scared after his beatdown by Thanos. So we can probably assume that he'll be a pretty big part of the next film. A part of Hulk lore we haven't really seen in the MCU yet is that he can get bigger the angrier he is. So maybe expect to see all this come into play in Avengers 4. We might get to see an uber Hulk, bigger and stronger than we've ever seen him before. And what might make him so angry? You, you know, apart from the annihilation of half the population of the universe. Something much more personal, maybe? Maybe the death of someone he cares about deeply. Maybe a certain Black Widow. Yes, I, I know she's probably got her own solo movie coming, but I suspect that movie will be a prequel. More on that in my next 20 MCU movies video. That's just a few theories for Avengers 4. I bet you have some more, don't you? Oh, go on. I know you do. Let me know in the comments below, man. I want to know those theories. Oh, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Avengers and other pop culture content from me. See you soon.